going on taco stackers uh here we are we're actually heading to virginia for it's definitely a long trip we want to go see some uh, friends from college we got a huge event going on tomorrow so join me on the adventure to virginia this, this is going to be fun i know i go along the eastern shore so that's delaware maryland and like virginia and then the destination's kind of around virginia beach so beautiful sights it's a, a very diverse area I don't really go across like the area where it's a beach much. And I'm hoping to stop at a thrift store or something else on the way. I know last time I came up there was a flea market. I think it was kind of around this time. So maybe in a vlog or two vlogs, we'll show you a, a flea market portion. I'm not sure how well or if there is a flea market still, but join me on the adventure. Let's go. Racetrack over there. I think uh, I think that's Dover Speedway. I think that's uh, Dover Speedway. I'm trying to include some uh, some history or places of importance that you know a lot of people probably won't see. I don't know what to think about this place. I came here once before, like I said. Uh, Here's electronic area. I don't really walk much over here. Is this a Nintendo? What? It's only five bucks. Okay. Blaster, master blaster. I actually had that game. Only five bucks. I'll get it because I know I can get my five bucks back. That's for sure. And then the game, probably get a couple bucks for that. Um, I might ask ten bucks for this system. This is, yeah, 1985. Never know what you're going to find when you walk into these random stores. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Lots of uh, equipment. I see an older... Uh... Can't believe five bucks. Weird prices, weird prices. Seventeen dollars for a golf club carrier. Those car carriers right here. So this came off a Rav4. Long story short, box truck guy screwed me over on one of these. He sold to a couple that sell stuff to Africa. Actually, the same people who buy my coolers. He sold this thing to them for like six bucks, brand new in a box. It was like a two hundred dollar piece, and I was supposed to buy it. He screwed me over on that one. So. So salty about that. Take a little bit more of a gander, see if there's anything. I got a nice toolbox here. Let's see, maybe there's some old thing. They're since September, it's currently November. But, no, no, just. We got Craftsman, lots of wrenches. Wrenches sell very well. Nope. If it was like 10 bucks, I'd be all over it. Or if it was full, we'll snap on tools. All right. All righty. God's Way Thrift Store. Thrift Store out here. Maryland. It's getting warm. It's getting kind of warm out here, that's for sure. Surprised to see a uh, Nintendo here. I don't know why. But, you know, by me, I probably see one Nintendo system maybe every 9 to 12 months pop in some random thrift store in Delaware and you find one for five bucks which is really cheap even though it doesn't have any of the cords or whatnot usually did you know people price them out at 10 15 bucks always picking always picking I think there's another thrift store right across the street Salvation Army I'll check out quickly so just got out of that thrift store Looked like somebody had a collection this is Los Angeles County or Los Angeles City yeah, we got a graphic on the back. So that, that always adds value to it. This is like a $15, $20 shirt. It was only 3 bucks. Like I said, they had a bunch there, but most of them were stained. So I, I passed on those. And of course, you know me. Got to get my glassware. This is a Pyrex. It's a newer one. And it was only $0.39. Cents. Prices here are outrageously cheap. And we got a little uh, milk glass Pyrex white. I guess you can call it not milk glass. Uh, Opel butter dish. 59 cents. I mean, prices here are cheap. 
through the roof. T-shirts, all the t-shirts were three bucks though, so the ones by me sometimes they're usually they're usually a dollar or two dollars. So that's that. If you're wondering what prices were like. Didn't seem like it was very picked through. There was two Sega games. One was Sonic Hedgehog 2, and the other one was like Bulls vs. Blazers basketball game. Uh, by me, that stuff usually would be picked up for uh, $5. It was 5 bucks there. I'm not a video game collector. If I was, that's a great deal in, in terms of, you know, to have the full box, game, manual, everything for 5 bucks for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. That, that, I feel like that's a good deal. But then they had two mirrored glasses, like mirrored uh, beer glass mirrored beer glass signs which uh one was 10 bucks and the other one was like five bucks or seven one was 10 bucks one was seven bucks you generally get about 10 bucks a piece at the flea market i would pick it up uh one had the pennsylvania logo on it which was really cool but there, there's not enough meat on the bone for me and i'm not a very big collector in terms of you know beer alcohol advertisement so oh well all right last thrift store today i forgot i needed a white shirt so I gotta get a white shirt here. I need to get a white shirt. We're in Virginia. Yeah, about 60 miles more to go. Kind of upsetting. Could not find one white t-shirt in men's medium or in men's large. Um, so, I guess I gotta go to Walmart. But uh, onward for the trip. I think is going to do it for uh, thrifting. See you at the hotel. sleeping on it turns out so all my friends are actually at the wedding rehearsal right are at the wedding rehearsal right now I'm one of like two or three people not from the state of Virginia yeah it's been a long day made it here it's like a 340 mile trip and uh, I'll probably do some more vlogging tomorrow show you guys everyone else all the buddies I know a lot of people ask me what are my friends like what do they do um, what do they think of me uh, but uh they're kind of curious about all this YouTube stuff as well. So uh, I'm going to grab a shower, head on out, and uh, see what the night has in store. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.